whenever you were looking for a job or you were looking for a place to live or you were looking for you know any number of different things, my kids going to college, you know somebody. What you would do is you'd go back into your own connection and say, well, I know this person went here or this person knows you know this business industry. I know they know who I know these people. So you would make those starting contacts. You'd start calling. You maybe at that point start emailing. What a lot of the social networking sites do, especially if you're talking about LinkedIn, LinkedIn is particularly geared toward business, but um, and, and, and professional presentations. But these other sites, what it does is it puts a visual, um, it puts a visual net. You're networking on a visual scale. So I can go to Missy's site, for example. And it doesn't matter if it's Facebook, it doesn't matter if it's Twitter, whatever it's going to be, I can see who Missy knows. If I need to get a job in a certain area, what I can do is I can say, you know, I'm looking for a job in D.C. I know that Missy has connections with certain people in D.C. in the field that I'm looking for. Let me see who she knows. Have I tried them already? Do I already know them? Maybe they can introduce me to someone I need. And it works the same way socially. Um, many of the people that I've met actually face to face here at PodCamp, I have met on Twitter, I have met on Twitter, I have met on Facebook, and actually not met them face to face yet. They may have a photo op, so I look at them and say, hey, I know you, which actually occurred in our meeting group on Friday. A couple people come up to me, oh, you're Lady D, you're a bellious blonde. So they that. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. It just makes, it gives a better opportunity for it. I have met people clear across the country that I wouldn't have met otherwise. And it's kind of interesting to think of it that we now have this path, we now have this ability, and it's readily available to us. Each of the sites offers something different as well. As you, you pointed out, a lot of the a lot of students, Facebook started off primarily as a school-based tool. Only recently have they opened up, it was bought out, and so it's open to everybody now. Um, originally what had to happen was if I was going to the University of Pittsburgh or we were in, a, in separate high schools. We couldn't see anything about each other unless we were in the same school. We had to have an email for that school, and if we didn't, we couldn't get in. Parents couldn't get on. Um, friends from other schools couldn't get on. You had to just be in that school. Um, and sometimes, it, 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 actually, there were a couple of different universities that that parried it down even further. If you weren't in the, the science school, you couldn't see the people in the science school. So I mean, it, it was it was very locked down. They got bought out, and now everybody and their mother has a Facebook page. MySpace originally started out for indie musicians. It's really who popularized MySpace, and actually it's still a very popular place for independent um, art producers, whether it's going to be film, um, music, particularly books. That's how I have my connections on MySpace. I started a book review website um, over a year ago. And I have primarily most of the contacts that I have from MySpace are publishers, authors, independent publishers, and independent authors, people who want to get their stuff read, want it to be reviewed. <coughs> what they'll do, an author, even if they're widely published, an author will create a MySpace profile for the book they just wrote. And then they'll start going around and, and you know commenting and joining groups and being and friending people. Um, if I, I don't Go ahead. I mean, the nice thing about it is, like Don was talking about, that these things all started out for this purpose, and they have evolved to this purpose. The nice thing about social media is it does evolve. It looks at what the trends are, what people are looking for, and adapts to it. If MySpace can't adapt to it, they create something else that can do what people are asking and what they're looking for. So even though you may be sitting here thinking, this is what I want to do with social media, you may look at it and say, well, we're learning about this too, and this is kind of a better way for me to utilize this. So it's adaptive. One thing that you can always tell a social media site, because a lot of people have problems, they're not sure, well, what is a social media site? What is a social media tool? What is a social media network? Generally, one of the things that you'll always find in a social media tool is that you will have the opportunity to connect with other people. Twitter. You have to friend people or follow people. Facebook, you become their friend. MySpace, the same thing. Uh, LinkedIn, you invite connections. And the level on which you're doing that is very different. For example, my MySpace page, because I use it primarily for my reviewing sites or, or my tools to generate reviews, I pretty much 
it doesn't matter to me who's you know on my friend list. I let everybody and everybody anybody join. Facebook, I will I will not actually agree to be your friend on Facebook unless I physically met you. Yeah, as met a friend of Don, it is <laughs> then damage that you have to run through in order to become her friend later. <laughs> and there are different there are different settings that you can physically pull and set for whatever purpose. You know, if you have you know your your teenage daughter is on this or, or son is the same may be. Um you, as a parent, you go in relatively, okay, I don't, you said you're allowed to do this, but you said it's not going to protect you. Um, business, you know, if you want to filter out, you know, I don't want every musician on the face of the earth trying to friend me to get their stuff out there. You can set filters. That's the other thing. People are always worried about privacy and security. Anybody ever, what are your, what are your major concerns about that? Because I know there has to be some out there. <laughs> I just for me is basically getting all the kooks. <laughs> <laughs> it'll happen. You can't avoid it. I promise you, it'll happen. It happened to me. <laughs> but like, with me, I have um, a lot of journal accounts that you know I you know work on pretty regularly, maybe you know, two, three times a week, and um, I got um, someone friended me from another. Um, community. My okay. hero community. Right. And basically just started trolling. Like, Does everyone know what a troll is? You might have heard about this. A troll is an individual, and Justin said it best yesterday, a troll is an individual who likes you, or, or rather doesn't like you, on any given day just because. They will want to ruin your day, they will want to destroy your happiness just because they can't. And these are people that will jump onto your website or onto your account and just leave absolutely vicious, oftentimes rude comments. And there are ways to get around that. I mean, if you see that, you can easily block people. I mean, my, my personal life when the other sort of content, and I need to know about Facebook. I don't know what these sort of have to your Are they are they asking you already? No, they're not, but I I It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, as a concerned parent, you know, I don't want to Well, I think that as a parent, you have the ability, you know, obviously this is going to be a conversation you're going to have with, with your child. I'd rather understand the way I exactly. want to do And uh, even, I don't know to do this, even so. so, I mean, the perception's going to come up, you know, can I, can I do this? Well, Mom, I have a Facebook account. <laughs> yeah. And then you go, wait a minute, we didn't have a conversation. <laughs> it's the, the social birds and the bees conversation. Yeah. 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 You, you well, I guess the club penguins is about all I'm talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, at that point, I mean, there are security settings. There is information. I mean, technically, for a lot of these sites, they ask you, are you 18? No, for anybody, you know. Yeah, anybody who has a finger to click and say, I'm 12 years old. Yeah, I'm 18. Yeah. yeah. And how do they filter out records and stuff like that? They have a lot of features that, if you suspect that somebody is not necessarily who they say they are, or if they're abusing the terms of use that you agree to at the onset, you can actually contact them. They have, you know, or contact me, like, through many of these sites, and, um, you know, warnings <coughs> flag this individual. I know that MySpace actually has, you know, you can report this person as a scam. What they will do then is they will review this person's activities, <coughs> and they will either block them, delete them, warn them, whatever you know their protocol is at the facility in order to try to supplement that. Now again it's your interaction as far as flagging it, but as you know, that is a possibility at this point. Every site has different security settings. Um, and personally, I mean some people may disagree with this. Personally I feel that out of you know the the social networking site, which would be Facebook, MySpace, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, I mean, if you're dealing with kids, kids are not going to be on LinkedIn. But out of Facebook and uh, and MySpace, I would say Facebook has a lot more opportunity to protect yourself and protect your family. With MySpace, there are so many options that you know it can be very and it's so customizable and it's always changing the way that it looks. You're slammed with ads that you may not want your kids to see. I mean, I I don't even bother with my Facebook account or my friend my MySpace account. Just for point of example, some of the Please, it, I mean, you pull up the home page that you're trying to log in on, and you have 
And it goes, dating, this is what it looks this like. Is this is what it looks like when you pull it up. Scroll down a little bit. And you know, do you, do you, you want your 12-year-old boy to see some yeah. of these things, right? Um, and so what would be nice? Kind of, these are kind of mild in comparison. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, I had this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you usually have that. You usually have, like, a half-naked woman over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I'm wondering, though, I mean, I'm, if you, I know that their ads are served based on mm -hmm. I know kind of graphics and everything, so I don't know if you're a 12-year-old on here and you're well, right. you shouldn't be, according to that. According right. to them. You're yeah. supposed to be 18. Yeah. Right. But I'm wondering if, well, see, if that's the thing, you know, this is 18. I'm thinking that they have their set at. Well, I mean, or, even, even right this right here, this is, so this is the MySpace login screen. So whoever goes into the MySpace, before you even log into your actual account, that's the page you have to log in. That's the page you have to log in on. Because mm -hmm. right here, over here is the login section over here. That's where you enter your information and log in. So this is the very first screen you see when you log in MySpace. Well, are there any like ad blockers or something like oh, that? Oh no, not <laughs> because that's the problem with this, my face. This is a free site. See, no, no, no. with the high variance diet over here. Mm -hmm. um, this is a free site, so their ad revenue is what they use. Their sponsors is what they use to make it possible to be free. They make money by how many times that ad okay. pops up on a screen. So they're going to throw ads. I mean, there's not a page you can get through that doesn't have an ad. We go in at night, and I believe the day, too, the ads are more about mm -hmm. like, yeah. toys, like, condoms, and like, you know, Yeah, it's interesting. It's, 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 you know what's interesting? And I'm curious as to why they haven't done it yet. You're right. They'll change. It's like, it's like television, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If you are putting your, your, yourself in a certain setting, the ads should change. I, and personally, that's how I feel. I think it would be very wise for them to do that, but they, but they, they don't. Because it's all about money. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, yeah, you know, in uh, MySpace uh, is owned by Fox News Corp, mm -hmm. which is annoying in and of itself because mm -hmm. I don't agree with Fox News in my face. But, um, mm -hmm. So you, you log in, you know, once you do log in, you get like flashed with whatever movie that yep. mm -hmm. 21st Century Fox is releasing. But, um, from a graphic designer standpoint, <laughs> I hate MySpace because Most people do. nobody yeah. knows how to properly set up a profile so you're reading white text on right. the yellow background. The other thing I yeah. love about Facebook is that it's, you're stuck with what they have and it's pleasure. I have a, a, a very big pet peeve about MySpace. I will at least check out your profile if you try, send me a, a, a message to so become my friend. If I click your name and your profile pops up and it takes 10 minutes to load because you've got sparkles everywhere and you're playing and videos all over the background, I'm like, forget it. I can't, you're going to crash my computer every time I try to check yourself. So, no. Um, this is Facebook. Facebook just had an overhaul not too terribly long ago. Facebook has a lot of privacy settings that you can use. I can use privacy settings so that only people who are my friends can see absolutely anything. I won't even show up on a search. Meaning if you were to type my information in, if I set that stuff up, you can't find me. You can check my emails, you can check, it doesn't matter, you won't find me unless you are my friend. You can set it so, can you put the settings up there? And this is what I would recommend. If, I mean, if you're going to have your, your, your young ones starting out on a social networking site, oh, this is where I would start from. Or even if you yourself are starting out, yeah. this is, I like the platform for Facebook. The way that it's set up, it's easier to get through. There's less in your face stuff. I mean, you can see the comparison between the Facebook page and the MySpace page. Mm -hmm. This one you want. <laughs> uh, I wanted you to look at settings. Well, I'm excited. I'm seeing that. So, uh, <laughs> is it notifications? No, that's not say what you, you can set up how applications contact you in my or in Facebook rather. One of the key attributes of, of Facebook is that you will have a lot of different applications. People will send you little gifts. People will send you a card. They want to play a certain game with you, and you add them to your site. Part of the problem is, you see these ads over here? Your information, like it, love it, or hate it, is being collected by Facebook. These ads on this side are generated specifically based on your information and your likes, your interests, and your dislikes. 
it's not always accurate, <laughs> but it's, it's always based on where you've been throughout the site. Um, well, from a business perspective, that's fantastic. That's 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 if you want to get your ad on Facebook, that's it. Forget about newspaper, forget about TV. That's where you want. This is where you want to go with it. I don't know, but here's a question I have on this. I'm sort of coming. No, please. You know, like on LinkedIn, I know how to, you know, add connections. Mm -hmm. yes. you know, on Facebook, how do I go about adding well, friends? Well, let me. This, I, I was, is this not what you want to do? Oh no, yeah, yeah this, this, is, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. basic level that we want to just get through. No, I'm on Facebook. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. <laughs> I'm like my back. Yeah, you're getting mm -hmm. much now. I have a whole camera video that's over there. So we're too bad. Sorry. That would be on my space. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Believe it or not. That would be an interesting edit. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm relatively new to the social media thing. So when I was asked to do this session, I was like, wow, really cool. Awesome. <laughs> um, when I first set up my Facebook account, I literally went to my friends' pages, saw who they were connected to, and then clicked on them to add them as friends. And well, I'll it's true. Can you show yeah. up there? Go back to your regular home page. Yeah, that's where I'm headed this home. When you log on to Facebook, this is what you see. When you log in. So you have your requests up here. She has a, this is one of the applications, um, an event information. If you agree to go to an event, but that's actually a really, before we, we actually show you how to do that, I just want to mention, we, over the past summer, um, I, you might have heard about this yesterday, we, we came together and so, through social networking, I formed a softball team in Pittsburgh. It's a joke and comedy and we had a, a, a lot of fun, a lot of people from planning Pod Camp and who attended Pod Camp were members. The entire way that we scheduled everything was on Facebook and through Twitter. So the events, you can say, you know, we have a game this weekend, will you be there? You can say yes, no, or maybe, or, and, and we get a good idea. Um, there were a lot of you, if you had a Facebook accounts and you signed up for PodCamp, got that event invite and information. It pops up as a reminder. Um, all down the center here, you see different things. And people post their own notes, they post pictures. That's the other thing. You can, I believe, I know they took it out, when they change, you can stop people from tagging you in a photo in Facebook. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. Let's show them how to add somebody. Okay. Up here in this friend section, it gives you a drop down. You don't have to click on it, you just roll over it. And it gives you recently added friends, all friends, invite friends, find friends. We're going to go ahead and click on find friends. And you have the option, it links through, uh, I have a Hotmail account set up, so I can plug in my Hotmail information, and it will go through my Hotmail contact list and find my friends in there. So if I have Outlook, I can go my Outlook. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo. It goes, it goes through any... So it's any, just like LinkedIn. It's exactly like LinkedIn. Yeah. Now, it doesn't always work that way, because if, you, if I'm using an account on Facebook that, let's say you have my Gmail account, my, my Gmail email yeah. address, and I'm giving you some crazy, you know, weird email address that's from Hotmail. If that's what I'm using, if I'm using my Gmail account and you don't have it, right. it's not fine. Well, and the reason why... But if I did a search on you... Go I ahead, go ahead, Missy. Type in Dawn of Luca. I don't know if it'll come up, it might have changed. Right. Search for people, and then you can search for name or email. I think you're not going to find me. I don't think I'm going to find you either, but I might be you are my friend. Nope, that's not me. That's not her. Her security settings are very strict. I mean, you can't just find Dawn. She has to. <laughs> she, she has, has to know you. Find <laughs> she, she, she has to prove you. Um, the other thing about this is that I am on Facebook. I'm not Dawn Kuga. I'm DM Kuga. And uh, feel free. I don't care. Add me all you like. But um, there's a reason for that. Because I started again using Facebook. I didn't know. The reason I was hesitant about social networking is because I taught at university for about 10 years. And when all of this started, I didn't know how much of my information I wanted my students to know. I didn't want to be that close to my students, and I didn't want them knowing things about me that I might put on this. Um, and I didn't want to know too much about them either, to be quite honest with you. You know, I, I'd rather not know certain things. Um, so I was very careful about whether or not they'd be able to find me by just popping in at any time. Um, 
Right here, you'll notice up here that this says rebellious flaw up here. Facebook uses first name, last name. I, myself, to keep my information personal, I don't like to put my name out there. One of my, my screen name actually is rebellious flaw. So I, my first name, for all intents and purposes on Facebook, is rebellious. My last name is flaw. So if my friends are looking for me based on my name, if you know, people know me from my past life social networking stuff, it's a security option. I mean, this is not necessarily the way that Facebook is supposed to be used. No, it's not. She's circumvented all the yes. work that's supposed to be done. But but that I mean that's an additional security measure that you can take. The other security measures on here, I mean, you can set it up so that people in your region can see you. So only anybody who's in the Pittsburgh PA region can see your information when they search you. So if I'm in the you know Cleveland network, I won't find you. Um, you can set it so that your friends, your network, and your and, and their friends. So let's say you and I are friends. We may be in the Cleveland network, and I'm in the Pittsburgh network. You can see my stuff, and so can your friends. But it's even better than that because you can go through every single one of those little tabs in Facebook and say who can see what. Nobody can see this. Everybody can see this. I have probably five email addresses on Facebook and nobody except the people I've agreed to friends can see them. Mm -hmm. Even if you're friends of friends and, and within networks, you can't see anything on Facebook for me unless I have approved it. Yes. And so, I mean, your, your question about how, how, how to deal with the security settings, I mean, you just go through it and you can lock it down so that only you and your family can see it. Um, one of the things, though, that I haven't found, I have not heard of any, not recently, I mean, I've heard of it on my face. In terms of Facebook, I haven't heard of anything in terms of predators. Um, because it, all these settings kind of make it difficult. Um, and it's easier on Facebook, or Facebook to say, I don't know you. So, I you know, there's a picture of you. A good rule of thumb that a lot of people go by is if there's no photo there, if somebody does not have an image, or an avatar next to their name on anything, chances are it's either a robot <laughs> or it's somebody who's, you know, really a, a very, not needed. A very small portion of those people are people who, who may not know. Like my mom, when she had a Facebook, didn't know how to upload the avatar. But it pretty much walks you through it. It's a setup process. You write a photo, you know, it'll give you the link option to upload something. So like on the so okay. part is now why do people who aren't young kids use Facebook? You brought up a very good point about business. Um, I have an individual who is following me that is uh, actually a few different individuals who are realtors. So whenever they have in the areas that you know that I am in, when they have new houses or apartments up for rent or for sale, they will post a note with a photograph of that house. Were you going to? Well, that you know I. That's exactly why I started doing it, not for business, but friendship and business. Mm -hmm. so my, son, my son's 22, and he's like, Mom, you're not supposed to be on Facebook. Get off that. Go on my phone. <laughs> 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 like, why can't I be on Facebook? Like, you're friends or no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're getting all kinds of complications, yeah, yeah, right? Because now you have, well, I like her a lot, but my yeah. son is no longer dating her, what do I do? And I can't be rude. I then, Mom, what are you doing being like, you know, ex girlfriend uh, friend? <laughs> the drama. My friends come up, and my friends, and now I'm like, oh, God. It's kind of like back in high school when you're using social media. <laughs> but you know what? It's actually a very good way to, I hate to say this, but to keep tabs on your family. Because, you know, before social like computer open access social networking tools were around, how many times could somebody say, Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to stay at, you know, so and so's house or, you know, I'm I'm doing really well in college, Mom, I swear, I swear. And you log on to their Facebook site and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> you you're not even in school anymore. What do you mean? Or, you know, I know that you weren't there. There's a whole bunch of pictures of you in a certain place. Regarding the finding friends option. Well, any social networking site has this important have an option to import your contacts from your email account. But in order to find that, you also have to provide your password and get your email address. Isn't that a security concern? It, well, Facebook always tells you that, I mean, most all these sites will tell you 
They, they will never use your information. They'll never sell your information. I don't believe we're one of them, quite frankly. I just don't. Uh, and you have to be willing to take that chance. I've not had any problems with it, and I don't know many people that have. I haven't had any problems. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happens though is you'll end up getting a lot of spam. The thing is, though, I mean, even though it's just a few or ten things to it, it's blog that anybody can send you read your email indefinitely. You never know. True. So this is true, but there, who would want to? There are other ways to import contacts right. and friends, though, so I tend to avoid that method. That, that is, that's easy. actually a very good concern. The same thing, you don't want to put your inter- you never want to use your, your uh, social security number anywhere on any of these sites. Oh, mm-hmm. Don't put any personal, private information. I tell my students and you know people who are getting into this, don't put your address, do not put your phone number, and you know if you want to keep an even greater level of security, use a second email account. So that you're not having, I mean, you can create dumb email accounts, you know, like anybody's business. Just make sure that you remember the email account password. Yeah. Now, is it possible to set up uh, multiple avatars to um, how you have things set up? On I, one site? Like on, um, like on Facebook. Yeah, oh, you can change your, your profile picture yeah, every day. Whenever you want. No, but I mean, like, I uh, chat with a group of people, mm-hmm. about 20 people, every weekend. Okay. And they know me by a specific avatar. Uh-huh. But I also have friends who have absolutely no idea what my screen name is and I see what you're saying. Uh, you know, can I have So you're saying can you have multiple Well, I mean you don't have any Facebook is not allowed you to have a rotating avatar. But I mean if you want to be creative, what you mm-hmm. do is you can create one avatar with your different you yeah, know, many avatars inside. But um, what people tend to traditionally do in, in a case like that, um, on you know most people's homepage, whether it's a you know blog or it's uh, their own website or even on a homepage on MySpace or Facebook, they'll put their other contact information. You can post. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty customizable. You can post a section in the About Me section saying, Hey, you know these are all my different you know logons. Here are my images, and you can do it that way. But it doesn't allow just automatically for rotating or multiple. Okay, this, so um, this is actually <coughs> just to show this. This right here is my my this is my Facebook profile. This is the information that everybody has available so they can see. Um, the stuff, the information off the left here is what she talked about, where you can fill in and edit this information. So you you can easily go in there and put your multiple names in there. Your um, can you put photos in there? I don't think you can, but over up here. This is where Facebook changed quite dramatically. Before you had all these different things that were very, you know, scattered all over the place, took forever to load. You now have tabs for different things. This is the wall. This is where people can communicate back and forth. Um, the info is all of her info about her, where she went to school, what she's doing. And that's a section where you could maybe add a box, whether it's just a notes mm-hmm. box, and put all that in your pictures, mm-hmm. and you can add it there. Okay, but I guess what I'm sort of saying is that. Um, you know, say I friend you. Uh-huh. You know me by my first name. Right. But you don't know what my usual login is. Okay. But oh, I see what you're saying. So how am I going to know that it's you? Right. There's an option on <coughs> um, on my actually on both on my state and Facebook where whenever you're sending an invite to somebody, you can add you can a message. Leave a personal message. So if you're sending it to the person, you can leave your you know, screen name that they would be right. aware of. You know, this is so and so. Yeah, I mean, that way, if you send me a friend and it, it's some, you know, out of the blue, like my blue or tragedy, right. so you wouldn't know that to me off the bat unless I told you. But if you, if you sent me that that invite, you would say, hey, Don, this is Rose. You know, you know, okay, so connect with me, and right. then I'd say, okay. But if I didn't see that, I'd be like, right. <laughs> because no, I, I don't care. I'm okay. My usual login is Digidiva. Okay. okay. And most of my friends from the chat know me as Digi. So if I, you know, so basically you're, what you're saying is that I can say, hang on, it's Rose. Right. I'm registered as Digi. Right. Yeah. Well, I know that. Whenever you're logged on here, mm-hmm. I'm getting that from your account. When I, when I send a message to Dawn, she gets a message from Rebellious Blog. She doesn't get a, name, she doesn't get a message from Lucy Sword, she gets it from Rebellious Blog. She knows that I am a life flaw, so she knows that it's me. Right. But in a circumstance like that, she would say, Who the heck is this? Did you be my person? Yeah. Who is that? So then in that personal box that she's talking about, is that where you have your messages 
then she was, oh, okay, that's nice. Right. Now, I know we've been talking a lot about Facebook and MySpace, but there are different aspects of social networks. Is it a good question? Sure. Sure. Maybe this is kind of similar. But I noticed, so you're really careful about what you put on Facebook and how people can get in touch with you. But I noticed you have a website with your name on it. So I was just curious, like, what is that going on? Wow, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, <Pretty> public. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Well, yeah, it is. It is. Um, Well, no. See, my website has gone to Google.com. It's uh, I started that about when did I do that? At the podcast one. I didn't know you. No, no, you didn't. I started that about a year ago. And originally, originally, I, I have two websites that I run. I run uh, the Lyric Tribe Review Review website, which is a book review website. And on there, for the longest time, I was still an honor. I didn't want anybody to know I was the one doing the reviews, if it was male or female, or, you know, but the reviews were going up and I was still getting tons and tons of information. Um, but at the same time, that was more more a professional business geared website. I didn't have anywhere to do my stuff. And for me to vent and rant and, you know, have fun and do stupid memes and, you know, put pictures or whatever. So uh, after PodCamp last year, everyone decided to spot me into my own website. Well, what should I get? Should I make some crazy fun name? But you are a brand. And it's, if there's one thing that you're going to learn, if you're starting, you know, building a website or a blog or social networking, you are your brand. So my my personal website is, now it's out there. It, it just is. And most people aren't going to, I don't know, maybe they will. Maybe it's pointless for me to have security. Even beyond that, I mean, Dawn's website, she can monitor everything that goes through that website. So if there's a troll on the website, That's she, a very good point. she can kick those messages off of her website. Mm -hmm. I, I have my my website is open for comments. Um, if you've never actually entered a comment that I've approved on my website, uh, it comes to me by email. I have to say approve this. And then it will appear there. And only then will it continue to come up if you, you make comments. Um, no, this is, again. Do you if somebody sends a comment on your website for the first time, they've sent a comment. They've got to get approved. But that's a setting yeah. I set up. But that's a setting you set up. And then from there on after, no, once you don't. approve their first comment, you don't. Yeah, I don't see. I don't. No, I no, still no. get it, but I don't have to approve it. That's right. So yeah. now, Missy, you can send because I've approved your comments. Mm -hmm. Every single one that you have, you send me. It, it automatically goes up. But there are settings I can delete, go back them. And delete them. I can remove them as if they didn't exist. Um, this is my site, so I guess, yeah, it, I actually just did a redesign, but um, it's pretty simple, I guess, a little calendar and what have you, but that's, you know, I'm out there. So I guess the, <laughs> you made a very good point. I guess I didn't really think about it that way. Um, I guess maybe because I didn't expect people to actually go there. <laughs> um, so I guess, uh, what you're, so I understand what you're saying. Um, you know, <clears throat> this is more of the case with the polls. You know, this is, yeah, with that yeah. kind of control. So basically, you know, if I really wanted to hack you all, send a couple of really sweet comments, then you just sort of let those slide, and then, then start the But like, she, yeah, how do you stop something like that? You can't. It's human nature. Yeah. I'll put it to you this way, because I can go on to anybody's website and complete pie every day of the week, and then when I just decide to be a complete dirt, I can come and say horrible things about them. She but, would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would never do <laughs> um, but, you know, and that it's just something that, you know, you want to be like that to your face, right? You can meet people on a daily basis, have a conversation, and then they'll turn around and say the same kind of thing to you or behind your back. So it's, I mean, social networking, unfortunately, is social interaction put in print somewhere. Now, there are different kinds. This is a blog. This is my blog. Meaning, and, and a blog is basically me or you or anybody posting daily, weekly, whatever time frame you want, um, shorter posts, whatever you want to talk about, your day. Some people have, you know, blogs that are specific to knitting, because we're in a remarkable knitting community, okay? So you can have blogs just about that. They're usually personal, but there are professional ones. Uh, Rich from All Go Coffee, I think they're the ones providing the coffee today. Rich has one. And he is connecting to his customer base by blogging personally. 
That's a big jump from dealing with the customer service, right? This man owns it. You're putting your friends out there as well. Because when you log into a Facebook, and if I make you my friend, you can, as my friend, can see every board that I post on and comment on. So you are completely letting out the interactions that you have with other friends. Well, you, you can, can actually set that, though. You can yeah. have those settings, but if you don't have those settings turned off, if you allow yourself to do that, if you don't go through, and that the detail that it is in those settings, if you miss that one, and you have an inside joke about a friend that you're on there, you're not talking behind your hand anymore. That person can see what you posted on someone else's site. Even they don't think so. Even though they don't see, think so. So if you have, you're talking to your son's ex-girlfriend, and you post <laughs> something on her site, I really just hanging out with you, your son's going to be able to see that unless you don't have, unless you have that setting turned on. So it's right. really like a live cast of your entire Facebook uh, life if you don't have those right. settings. Right. So learning right. the settings are really important because that absolutely can happen. And you can find out, oh, I didn't know that they knew each other. We're I didn't know that they had that little connection. We're MySpace where there's less settings, but you don't track your MySpace activities amongst your friends when you do that kind of stuff. Right. So it's a plus and minus for security. Okay. Um, I'm not so sure I understand that. Like I said, I have a live journal account. I do something like that. My friends could see my live journal account? No, live journal's different. Yeah, live journal. Live journal's another, there are different blogging mediums. Usually the most popular are Blogger, WordPress, Live Journal, and Typepad. Okay, so, oh, so they can't really see. No, that's page. different. So that's no, a website. Oh, that's no, a blog. Yeah, but he's talking more specifically about Facebook. He's talking specifically about Facebook. Okay, oh, so say I'm hooked in with another friend that I typed into, you know, their comment into them. Mm -hmm. And I have a Facebook account. Yeah. Hi. Then I help you. Are okay. we being invaded? We're being invaded by the Mayhem Show. <laughs> by the Mayhem Show. Should I drink that? 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 Should I uh, if you post a comment on anybody's anything that is not yeah. on MySpace or Facebook, they will see it if they approve it. Yeah, if, if I'm reading Dawn's blog and I see one of her friends who I'm not a friend with, I see that they've made a comment. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. I think that it's a funny comment. I then want to track back to this person's website that people usually link their website when they leave the comments and stuff. So I'll link to that person's website and then check them out. But that's that's very public. That's on my that's on my blog. Yeah, that's, that's on my blog. website. That's not what what he's talking about is on Facebook. You can set all the privacy settings you want, but there are uh, notification settings over here where you can notif you set you know update this in my friend feed, which means that if you if it's going into your friend feed, everybody you're friends with sees the activity you're doing. So if I make that comment, if you if you have that set and you make that comment for your son's ex girlfriend and your son is your friend, he's going to see you made that comment, whether you told him so or not. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to see it. I mean, it's, it's but if you deselect it, right? If you deselect it, if you if you say off or whatever that might be, it won't go into your feed. People do this to avoid getting caught playing on Facebook at work. And how do you do it off comment for the comment at time? Not it's already up on it. Uh, well, you, you can, no, you would set it you for have all set of them. It for all of them through here, yeah. you can't just unfortunately yeah. turn it off. No, yeah. they don't have that That's option. It. Now, Twitter, on the other hand, we'll touch base well, on this quickly. Uh, yeah, real quickly. Now, blogging is daily. It's long. It's lengthier. It's longer. Um, it has as long as you want it to be or as short as you want it to be. That's blogging. Microblogging is done in very quick, very short sentences. Honestly. It comes down to, as you see up here, it's 140. You have 140 characters to say whatever it is you have to say. And actually, on Twitter, I think it's 120. Uh, otherwise, it'll cut off the message from right. those last 20. 